today's video is going to be for authors who want to make a fancy looking book header cover image so it's going to be a, a banner size image that's going to be at the top of facebook posts at the top of your website and it's going to be a basic size of 900 by 300 it's going to have pictures of your covers resized to a smaller shape and possibly some text on too if you want to include a call to action that uh, that works great possibly use it to to get people to sign up to your email list use it for a facebook header use it to advertise new releases that are coming out and um, in your emails as well you can include something like this at the start or at the end of an email basically it looks really good and it gets uh, people talking and, and and it gets people seeing what you've written so Today tutorial is going to use Pixlr. Um, the reason I use Pixlr is it's free. It's actually really simple to use as well. So before you start, you're going to see what I have is I have Pixlr open over here. So it's pixlr.com forward slash editor. Obviously, my blog will have the link open as well. Um, so start start with Pixlr open. And something else you're going to need to have ready before you start is going to be your cover images. So what I've got is for the tutorial, I've just got four images one two three four cover images now the size doesn't matter too much don't worry about how big the cover needs to be before you insert it into the banner because it's going to be resized regardless so so err on the size of too big rather than too small and, and bad quality but basically i've got five cover, uh, i've got five cover image files here you can see this is quite a big one um, it's got the basic shape going likewise with the others this one's a bit smaller but but likewise that's not too important for this example so what we're aiming for guys what a, a book banner image looks like is something like this now this example was actually given to me by one of my blog readers who said listen how do i make this how do i make a author banner image uh, for the top of my website and um, what you're seeing in front of you is by author Nick Stevenson. It's a great example of what you can do. And we're going to aim for this today. So a very simple banner image with a few of our covers inside. And for the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to include text as well. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing is obviously my cover images are here. I'm going to say create new image. Okay, now I'm going to give the image, the banner image, a suitable name. So let's say... Example banner Im image. Oh, oopsie! Uh, banner image. You can call it whatever you want. Just make it something that you won't forget. Now, a typical banner size, 900 by 300. Obviously, you can change this to whatever you want, uh, depending on whether it's Facebook that might have its own requirements. I'm going to leave transparency off. Uh, preset doesn't matter because I'm I'm selecting my size and go OK. Okay, so let's just drag these to the side. So, so what you're seeing is you're seeing a basic banner image, 900 by 300. And what we have to now do is actually insert the different cover, the cover image files onto the banner image background. So let's start. So we start by saying layer, open image as layer. Okay, it's fine. Here are my four examples. So let's start. So we're going to take the first example. We're going to open that. So we've opened and we've opened the cover image file as as an extra layer we see it appears over here as layer one now it's very big it's obviously what's happened is is the cover image was a lot bigger than the banner image we've created in the background so let's resize that so we go edit free transform now what you see is you see the blue corner there there and obviously it's 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 bigger than the actual screen can show so let's just drag that down let's just drag the cover image you can see how it's resizing it Okay, let's just resize it further. Let's just resize it further like that. Okay, looking better, right? So, so we're dragging it to the size we want. That looks beautiful. Let's maybe make it a bit bigger. That looks perfect, a bit thinner maybe. Beautiful. Okay, that is actually our first cover inserted, looking great. Let's uh, click away. It's going to ask us, are you happy? Yes, we are. Let's do the next one. Same, same, same process as before. So layer, open images layer, cover example two, open. Once again, it's much bigger than the screen. We're going to go edit, free transform. We're going to select the blue corner and drag that down to a better looking size. Bring it up. Okay, we're going to make it match what it's next to. 
widen it a bit. Perfect. Okay, click away and say, yeah, I'm happy. Let's do the next one. Layer, open images layer, cover example three. Once again, too big, let's resize it. Now, ooh, sorry, I selected free distort. So no free transform. Okay, so so this can be repeated obviously as many times as you want, guys. I'm, I'm going to limit this just to keep the video a bit shorter. But this can obviously be repeated as many times as you want, depending on how many book covers, depending on your purpose. Um, obviously, it's very simple to repeat. So, so we have three covers. Um, these can be dragged. Let's say, let's say you realized um, the first cover is not the size you wanted at. Let's select the layer that 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 we used for the first cover, which is probably layer one. Sorry, save layer three. Okay, so layer one, and we can transform that size again. So, so once you've inserted it, you aren't fixed. If you select the right layer for the right image and you go free transform, you're then free to, to reshape. Let's say we wanted to do cover two as well. Cover two, I think was layer two. So click away, save our changes and say, fine, layer two and the same thing, edit, free transform. So we can tidy this up if we need to later on. Okay, yeah, we happy save. Okay, so finally, you, you can't stop here. You can stop and go file, and save. What I want to show you is actually text. I see it's actually done automatically. But basically, using this text box here at the bottom left-hand side of the of, of the select tools, we say t uh, type tool. Select it. Click on the screen. Now it is what text you want. So write our text here, and you can see exactly where it's going. We select the size we want. We can drag this quite beautifully. You can see how it's getting bigger and smaller on the screen. Okay, what si what uh, what what italics or bold you might want? Very important. Pick the the font face you want. Pick something that looks professional. Don't pick something that looks uh, like a Comic Sans. Select it. We happy. Go OK. And now you can actually just drag and move it as you need to. Let's make it a bit a bit bigger, maybe. You can always separate text with a line break. And you can just move it as you need to. So this could be something like buy my book and new release and you know something something to entice readers or a call to action if you are starting to collect the email addresses of readers. And and you can change the font, you can change um, the font face and it bold and italics and things like that. But basically, we are happy. We have our cover images, you might have more, you might have less. We write our texture. We're happy we're now ready to export this banner image so we go file save now this is important we're going to select jpeg jpeg will give us um, a very common file format at a very decent file size so it's not going to be too big uh, drag the quality to 100 percent um just just to make it look as good as possible once again the image needs to be called something that you won't forget and say okay it's going to ask you where do you want to save this um, I'll save it in the same folder as my cover examples and um, save it. Image saved. Let's go back to our folder and here it is. This banner image can now be included in your email, on your Facebook page. It can be used as a great call to action and it can be used in conjunction with the 3D cover images from our previous tutorial. Maybe you could actually include the 3D covers on you instead of the two-dimensional covers. So have fun. Let me know if you like the tutorial. If it's if it's useful, let me know anything else I can make for you. Any other tutorial I could I could show you how to save money with. Um, but thanks a lot for listening, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Cheers.